Hello, welcome to Arts Education Advocacy in Action. This event is being presented by the Alameda County Arts Commission and Create Alameda County. My name is Rachel Osajima and I am the Executive Director of the Alameda County Arts Commission. I am joined by Violet Harlow, who is the Arts Commission's Arts Education Program Coordinator. And also we have Julie Baker, the Executive Director of Californians for the Arts and California Arts Advocates. And Joaquin Newman, who is the Manager of the Arts and Creativity Program at REACH Ashland Youth Center. Every year in March, we celebrate Art is Education Month. We invite community members to become involved at the county level through programs at the Alameda County Arts Commission. We also invite everyone to engage with our state level partners who are Californians for the Arts and Create California. At the end of this presentation, we will provide to you the websites of our partners. So Violet, can you tell us more about Artist Education Month? I'd love to. Artist Education uh, is, this is the 22nd year of Artist Education, which is an annual event in Alameda County for our community to come together to support arts education for all ages. And there are three major elements. The first is a focus on public awareness about the importance of arts education. And we encourage community leaders to show their support for arts education every year. There are proclamations in support of Artists Education Month by the Board of Supervisors at the county level and also by city councils and school district boards. The second is engagement. We encourage community members to get involved in art as ed arts education. There are events presented by schools, districts, libraries, and community centers. These include exhibitions and performances and workshops that share the value of arts education with our broader community. Also, there are arts advocacy events, including presentations like this one, and also advocacy action steps for community members to take part in supporting arts education. Arts education and arts access is about community health and well-being. And so our partners are broad and include many direct service providers, including arts organizations and food bank distribution sites, health centers, and family service centers. That's a quick summary of artist education. Thank you. OK, Julie Baker, can you start us off? You're an expert on arts advocacy, and we love to learn more about ways that people can get involved with your organizations. Thanks, Rachel, and I appreciate being here. Yeah, I think everyone's an expert on arts advocacy. If you're in the arts, that's what's so cool about it. Is it you don't have to be an expert. You have to be someone who comes with passion and a story to tell and a ways that you can uh, share how you are effective in your community in both social impact, economic impact, and our own personal lives. So I think that's what being an effective art advocate is. And what's really cool, not only do you have Arts Advocacy Education Month in March, you also have April is Arts, Culture, and Creativity Month in the state of California that Californians for the Arts um, works to engage uh, folks in. And there's lots of different ways that you can engage in that. One is um, to actually write an op-ed, for example, about in your local paper or um, ask for an interview on your local radio station to celebrate and recognize the local impact of your arts, culture, and creative industries and workforce. You can um, upload images to our Arts Work Showcase, where we'll talk about how the arts work to heal, the arts work to engage and empower youth, the arts work to advance justice, the arts work to build community, and the arts work to create jobs. Um, you can also um, engage with us during advocacy week uh, and that's april 25 through 29 this year and you can meet with your own elected officials and tell them personally your stories on, and with talking points with all the information you need to be effective and feel comfortable showing up in that way but i can share with you that for us to show up is what makes a difference when we come down to the budget level both at the california budget and your local budget it makes a huge difference when advocates show up and say this is why it matters this is why it's important 
I can assure you that if we don't do it, they're not going to prioritize us. That's just how it works. So you're um, showing up uh, consistently, engaging, and um, we do everything possible to make it easy for you. That's what we're doing here at Californians for the Arts. And on March 25th, we actually have a kickoff training and webinar, and we hope that everybody will join us there. All of these um, opportunities are free um, for you to engage in. And uh, again, our goal is to make it easy and effective for you to lift your voice in support of arts, culture, and creativity. Beautiful, thank you. And if they missed some of these trainings, they can come to your, go to your website and find a huge list of resources. Absolutely, and the trainings are also recorded, so they can watch those as well there. Um, they can reach out to us. Uh, we're, you know, we're humans on the other end of the phone, we're ready to answer that call and um, to support uh, folks who want to get engaged in this way. It's, it's, it really does make a difference. That's what I also want to share, is that advocacy works. And uh, I think you've seen that in your own communities uh, recently, right, uh, Rachel, in, in the city and um, and of Oakland and the city of Berkeley, putting um, ARP, um, American Rescue Plan, funds towards arts and culture. Uh, you wanna see that also um, in arts education. And specifically, there's a ballot measure coming up potentially. We're getting signatures right now. It's the arts and music ballot measure, which could put as much as $800 million towards arts education in our local schools. And uh, I'm sure we'll share information on that as well at the end of this presentation. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Terrific. Now I'd like to invite Joaquin Newman to talk about what he does working at Reach Ashland Youth Center, which is located here in Alameda County, working with youth, middle schoolers, and high schoolers. And some of the work you do is about um, helping youth understand how to get involved in advocating for themselves in arts education. So Joaquin, can you share some information? Yeah, thank you for the invitation to be here. I especially excited about uh, the opportunity to leverage the young people's enthusiasm for art and the, the expressed need for art every day that they are in schools. Um, young people that I work with, middle school through actually 24 year olds, but mainly middle school and high schoolers, you know, really express that art is part of their healing and it's part of their mental health. Um, one of our students in one of our classes earlier said, art helps me find out who I am. And another says, I feel less stressed when I can make art. Those two statements really get to the core of what the importance are, are the very intangibles of what art, the finding out a young person trying to find out who they are through a creative endeavor, whether it's dance, music, painting, uh, recorded arts, poetry, really just shows that it's a part of our uh, human nature that is a human right. And it's something that has been uh, recognized by young people and by people who advocate for young people in their full development and for a whole child uh, to be a big part of what they have uh, access to. Uh, another aspect that young people react to is when they see uh, their arts activities taken away or reduced, especially in the schools. Many of the adjacent schools have had their arts reduced to zero, which is unacceptable and just a harsh reality for some of the, the budget uh, and the realities for the districts. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to work in a center that's funded through another source, through Healthcare Services of Alameda County. So it's changing the lens of what arts does for the community and for the youth in general. And so that's been extremely helpful in uh, advocating for the arts, advocating for the importance of the arts, especially during this pandemic, um, where we've been able to continue a lot of these uh, creative endeavors to be able to, uh, to really have young people recognize, well, this is a key part of education. If we're in this state of trying to reinvent and uh, re-envision what uh, arts education can look like, um, then it really should be part and centered around the social emotional learning and social emotional development uh, of the young people in the communities. So how do we do that? Um, uh, through arts classes, through arts activities, of course, that uh, aren't necessarily available in uh, the school day. We have expanded learning site that we're fortunate enough to be able to have. Again, it's one of not many in all the areas, so many more of these facilities would be great. But the other part uh, is actually advocacy uh, projects that are funded through uh, other partnerships. Um, and I wanna share a little bit of my screen, if that's okay, to show what that looks like. So this is an example of one of our advocacy endeavors that we did in partnership with Alameda County Arts Commission and Create California with some of our uh, youth mentors. These are uh, high school and college age youth who are youth teaching artists. And they are there enthusiastically showing their passion for creativity, uh, creating artworks that uh, advocate for um, full funding of arts education. And then of course, getting those same young people or other young people to come to Arts Advocacy Week 
uh, legislative uh, advocacy calls. Um, and we were fortunate enough to visit with several of our elected officials last year and the pre year before. Uh, we will continue to do that. Hopefully we'll be in person in this next couple of years so young people can get the opportunity to go to Sacramento. Uh, but advocating to the elected officials, letting them know, and especially having our older youth be part of that and then shepherd in other young people in that same realm. And then finally, one, some of the things that are really take advantage of the creative endeavors that are that are present uh, in partnership with the, or in from with grants from the National Endowment for the Arts, from the California uh, Arts Council, um, our youth center in partnership with the Deputy Sheriff Activities League in the area have created murals all around uh, Ashland, which is like unincorporated Alameda County, really not only giving young people the opportunity to express themselves and have creative endeavors and partnerships, but also to really um, show the importance of sustaining this creative workforce that exists and is uh, really untapped and hopefully growing with some of the other uh, legislative and uh, uh, initiatives that are coming along, including the California Creative Work Fund, uh, Creative Workforce Fund. So some of the really exciting things that are happening uh, are really part of getting young people can, uh, energized around the, their knowledge and their awareness of the inequities that happen with uh, access to arts, but also what are the steps to get there? And Create California has been a really great portal for young people to get that information in a digestible form and, and shareable on their social media. Terrific. And it's been so wonderful for you to be involved with um, Arts, Culture, and Creativity Month and um, coming to those legislative visits and bringing youth from the Youth Center along. And I know that those elected officials always really want to hear about the perspective of a young person and, and what they value in the school and the community. So thank you so much for your involvement. Thank you. So with that, Julie, do you want to say any last words about how to get involved and sort of like the next steps for um, for things that you're working on and then come to Yeah, you? I mean, the best way is to go to our website, CaliforniansforTheArts.org and um, click on Arts, Culture and Creativity Month, which is the full month of April. There's all sorts of ways that you can engage. You can simply download our logo and include it in your activities in April. You can share our social media toolkit on a weekly basis that will give you all the prompts for, um, as we discuss how the arts work in our communities. You can engage in Arts Advocacy Week and attend a March 25 training. And you can include as an artist or an arts organization, participate in our arts work showcase upload an image, you can uh, you know, include a poem, you can include videos of what you do already, and um, you'll be entered into a weekly prize drawings of cash prizes of $250 for an artist and for an arts organization. And that's just a random drawing that we're doing. So we really hope that people will participate in that creates a repository, a gallery, a showcase of all the amazing work that's being done in our communities. So we encourage everyone in Alameda County to, to get out there and showcase all the great work that you're doing and participate in Arts, Culture, and Creativity Month. Terrific. I love it. And then also, everybody can go to the website of Create California that also has fabulous resources and a toolkit that you can use also to download information and post things on social media. So. Um, you uh, can see the websites of our organizations here and we invite community members to learn more about um, everything that we're doing and get involved and with that i'd like to thank you so much julie baker and joaquin newman for being here today and um and it's been wonderful to have this event with you and thank you everyone who's watching for attending thank you all thanks